Hi, my name is Janine Swatton, and today's topic is iPhone coding on Windows XP. Now, as a mobile app developer and instructor, I have students ask me all the time, how do you go about building iPhone apps on a Windows machine? Well, bottom line, you can't. It's a violation of the developer license. Basically, the license does state that you need to be using Apple branded products when using Xcode, which is the IDE, the major tool that you need in order to build an iPhone app. Now, there are other tools such as Mac and Cloud, which I'm going to give you a brief demo on. And I'll also give you a demo of Xcode on a Mac and how it works. So let's get started. Some of my students have used macandcloud.com. They say it's re relatively slow. Basically, what you're doing is logging into a virtual server, which has the environment set up for you and all the tools but you can only run the application on the simulator. And in order to deploy an app, you need to have an Apple device according to the Apple Developer Agreement. Now, if you run Xcode, let's say you do have an Apple device running Xcode, the minimum system requirements is 10 OS X 10.8.4 and you should have at least 8 gigs of memory. So I launch Xcode and within Xcode it has the interface builder, you can drag and drop widgets, you can actually build a prototype right in the interface builder. And you have some other cool features such as splitting your screen and have the code alongside the screen you're editing. For the simulator, it's already built into the Xcode toolset. Build succeeded. And it gives you a nice little iPhone and it's that easy. So I recommend just getting an Apple device and building apps on a MacBook or an iMac with at least 8 gigs of memory. And that's it.